<laughs> now, here's something I'd love to have a go at, actually. Gliding. It's an adventure sport which started out in the 1920s and is still going strong. I can tell you this, there's nothing quite like the experience for total peace and quiet. It's lovely. What are you trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> now, there's quite a thriving scene here in Yorkshire for gliding, that is. But the British Gliding Association has launched an initiative to try and get more people of all ages and abilities to get involved. Uh, well, we all wanted this job, but none of us could catch Biggles Leeming. Mm -mm. She's at Burn Gliding Club near Selby Forest now. Chocks away, Charlotte. Chocolates away, that is. Oh, yes. I don't know where you've been gliding. Peaceful. I'm not sure about that for my experience today, Harry, but what a gorgeous day it has been for gliding. This place, you know, used to be an RAF station f during World War II, but for the last 30 odd years, it's been the home for Burn Gliding Club. Some of the members here uh, watching us in progress tonight, but you can see why it has become a gliding club. Look at this location. It's absolutely gorgeous. Fantastic views wherever you look. And also, there's Drax and Egbra power station here as well so if you're a glider you'll know they add lovely thermals and air to keep you high up in the sky it's like i know what i'm talking about but the british gliding association have been here today they want to raise awareness of this adventure sport and get people from all ages and abilities to do it even me i had a little go take a look at this at 14 years old, Benji Ambler is Burn Gliding Club's youngest pilot. Open. Open. He had lessons for two years, and as soon as he was old enough, he was flying solo, much to the satisfaction of his instructor, Tony. It's very nerve-wracking when you first send him solo. So if they make a mess of it, it's your fault, not theirs. But, you know, when you teach people to fly and people pick up on what you've taught them, it's very rewarding and very gratifying, really. And it was with Benji each time I flew with him. I was confident that I could go solo because I'd had loads of flights. And and then when I went solo, I wasn't scared, but I was nervous thinking that there's no one actually behind me here. But it was all fine and really fun flying by myself for the first time. Seeing youngsters take up the sport is rewarding for John and Patricia Sturk. They were founding members of the Gliding Club back in 1960 and are still flying today. You get this magnificent view of the countryside below and what's going on. And you learn about how to stay in the air for a long time. You learn about what the crops uh, are in the fields from the farmers. I had an interesting one when I landed near Barnsley many years ago and somebody rang in and said I, an aeroplane had crashed and I got two fire engines and lots of police and it was cup final day. <laughs> and one policeman insisted on staying with me and he grumbled the whole time because <laughs> he was missing the match. Sounds exhilarating, so I'm going to have a go to show that anyone can do it. 0 to 60 in two seconds. Let's do this. I just have to get up in the air first with the help of instructor Mike. Oh, and a winch. Oh, my stomach. With no engine, gliding takes a lot of skill. Pilots use the same naturally occurring current of air that birds use to fly. It's an amazing feeling. Well, most of the time. Oh no! No! No way. No way. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Mike, I'm going to kill you when we get down. <laughs> So it's good to be back on terra firma. There's Mike, look at him, the rotten thing. Give us a wake, Mike. Uh, I didn't kill him, but we had a few harsh words, but um, we're joined now by Jago, who's from Hi. Glide Britain, and also um, Matt, who is from the gliding club here itself. Jago, first of all, you've been going around some of the gliding clubs. You're trying to get people involved in it because it's a fun sport, isn't it? It's a remarkable sport. I mean, there aren't enough people actually gliding, and I joined this to actually get people involved. I think it's phenomenal. It's incomparable, basically. <laughs> so how have you enjoyed uh, flying around uh, Yorkshire today? Yorkshire's uh, pretty good, actually. I mean, <laughs> flying over the power station was just amazing. I've never done anything quite like it. And I've flown a flat glider and think it's different as well. It's all different experiences. And I think everybody should, you know, plunge, take the plunge and glide. 
And I found today it's not always serene and peaceful, is it? You can do a few stunts. Oh, yeah, you can do aerobatics. You go up. To, I, I interviewed someone the other day upside down. You know, we're going along. We <laughs> rolled inverted and we were flying along upside down. I interviewed him. It was brilliant. All right, Jago, no need to show off. Make me <laughs> look uh, like a wimp. Now, <laughs> it's a fantastic place you've got here. How it important is. is for you? We've seen the younger pilots today how important to keep the generations coming we've through we've got whole age range from 14 up to 86 and we just want to get more people enjoying the sport because everyone can take part it doesn't matter if you've got uh, an able body or if you're fit or you've got a disability we fly lots of different people around we have visiting groups that come every year disabled people that fly and we have lots of space for more people to come and enjoy gliding it's a fantastic experience getting up in the air and seeing yorkshire from a different perspective because Jago, we know you're doing that. You're saying you're interviewing people. You're doing stuff sort of for Facebook, social media, aren't you? Mm. Really trying to do lots of activities so that people see that it can be exhilarating and exciting. It is. I mean, this this project initially is to cover the, all aspects of gliding. I think that you know it's really important to publicise it and get people involved of all ages. At, you know, anything. I I really am passionate about it, and I think it needs to be put out there brilliant sounds like you are um i'm not saying i'm passionate about it but maybe given time it's been absolutely fantastic um back to you i'm off for a lie down i think <laughs> i think you need a drink never mind yeah. a lie down after yeah. that charlotte take Roger my breath else. away lottie top gun <laughs> did look great though didn't it i'd love to try that uh,